Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jasmine and I'm gonna show you how to curl your own hair just like this to get that salon look at home. So I got my wide tooth comb. So I'm wearing a half wig that I created. So I've got my half wig installed and then I have my natural hair clipped up here. As you can see, it's still got a little bit of curl remnants from yesterday, but I wanna show you how I do this. So I'm going to split this about in half. And I've already got my curling iron turned on. It's at about 380. I'm going to clip this section up. So I've got one section below. I've got a little bit of fall from the front. I need to clip up here. And I've got my natural hair up at the top and then what I have remaining down. So I've got three products I'm gonna use. I'm going to be using Hot Off The Press by Paul Mitchell. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I use that for thermal protectant. I'm also gonna use my Kenra Platinum um, High Hold Heat Protecting Spray. This stuff I love because it's very cold outside right now. It's actually January, so um, this is going to give me extra protection and hold as well as keep my hair from getting frizzy or reverting back to its naturally curly state. Um, and then I've got my Marula Oil Light from Paul Mitchell also to just spray in to keep it um, nice and soft. So I've already pre-brushed, pre-detangled my hair. So I've got my hot off the press spray and then detangle making sure that it's dry before I grab my hot tools. A little bit of my Kendra Platinum heat block spray. And then I'm just gonna take a section about as width, the wide as the width of my curling iron. I'm going to wrap it here and turn it away from my face. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. I start at the top and gradually incorporate those ends in and then I'll hold for just a second. And the reason being is because the ends don't need to heat as long. And look at that beautiful curl. Doesn't take super long. Taking diagonal back section. So I'm just taking my finger, taking that section back on an angle that's farther away from my face at the top and then closest to the nape of the neck or my back even um, as I go. And then I'm literally just doing this until I get to the middle back section. And each of these thirds, I might go just a little farther over. And when I get to the top of my hair, my natural hair, this section here, I'm going to change over to my smoothing iron. Because I want my hair to blend in with this half wig. I don't really need to curl it. I'm just going to go back over it with the smoothing iron pretty quickly and maybe just curl the ends in the very top front section. So this is going to be a real time video so you guys can see everything I'm doing. Gently let that hang and I'm wearing all black so it is a little difficult to see. That half is done. This section here starting away from my face on this side, wrapping around gradually, starting at the top of my section and gradually working those ends in. This is how I get those beautiful curls and waves in all of my Instagram posts. Well, most of them, if it must an updo or something like that. Um, if I wanted more of a wave, I would wrap a little bit differently and probably use a smaller barrel. If I wanted a tighter curl or tighter wave, I would take much smaller sections and use a much smaller curling iron. What I'm using right now is about an inch and a quarter. So there's that. That's all done. I have not combed my hair back out since curling. I let that cool. So now, Bring down the second section with the same three, or excuse me, two products. I have not used my royal oil light yet. I'm going to take it, detangle, 
above what I just curled. Not ready to comb those curls out yet. This be. Please don't mind my dog. She thinks everything is her business, so she barks. And it seems to be only when I'm recording. I'm not gonna stop this recording again. I must, my neighbor must be getting a package. So I'm still gonna continue working. Same manner. Starting at the top. Gently wrapping around. I'm sliding down gently. And working that end right in quickly. Picking up just the straight pieces or straighter pieces of that section. Um, take a little bit less of that. Start at the top, work my way down, continuously wrapping it up back around the wand or the barrel of this uh, curling iron. And this is my Hot Tools curling iron. Um, I love this curling iron. Hot Tools in general with the gold is my favorite curling iron to use. I do use a couple of others, but this is my favorite, an inch and a quarter. You can get this online or at uh, Sally's. Uh, so this is available to every person. Um, I got a request for how do you curl my hair like this? I could never do that um, on my own. So I decided to make this quick little tutorial for my guests and for um, anyone who really wants to know how to achieve that look at home um, that your stylist gave you when you left. So this is how you maintain that and maintain the integrity of your hair or your extensions by protecting it properly with thermal protectant spray. So I've got this half done. I'm gonna move on over to this side, doing the same thing, picking up what needs to be curled. Still working on that diagonal. As you can see, I'm not straight down. Another point I want to point out um, is when you set your curling iron down, make sure to use this kickstand right here so you're not burning your countertop or anything like that, as well as your cans that you're using. All three of these are aerosol and metal, and we don't want it to get too hot, so be mindful of where you're placing those when you set them down, as well as be mindful of your hot tools when you set them down and where they're going. Remember, I already sprayed the entire section, so I don't need to continuously go back through and do that. You should feel that the hair is dry before you're putting the, your curling iron into your hair. That is a super important part. If it's snap crackling and popping like Rice Krispies, then obviously it's still too damp for the hot tool and you're causing damage and cooking that product right off of your hair and you really didn't get any benefit um, of that protection because you just cooked it in. So it's always important to also make sure whatever you spray in your hair right before you put a hot tool in, um, your hair should be dry by the touch before you put these things in. And let's see, it's only been about a little less than 10 minutes since I started. So I've got all this. I'm gonna check and make sure I'm happy with all my curls. This looks like it didn't get enough loving, so I'm gonna miss this little spot right here. I'm gonna take out what was previously curled, detangle one more time. Hold this a little longer. This is a bit more larger of a section, so it's gonna be there for just a little longer. that. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my smoothing iron. And while this thing heats up here in about 60 seconds, I'm going to turn it on. It's going to go to about 360. I previously blow dried my hair straight here and underneath I have it braided down. So uh, what I do is I can just wash this 
when I'm ready to section and then uh, re-blow dry, smooth it out. But I've already got a little bit of protection in there because I've already smoothed it out. But also gonna still put more because I want my hair to be protected. Because I took a shower, I've got a little bit of frizz and little hairs trying to curl back up. So I'm going to part my hair down the center because that's how I'm gonna wear it. Show you how I'm gonna blend this in with the half wig. Now, if you're not wearing a half wig, this part is only different because I am sectioning this part to make sure that it goes back over the back section of my hair of the half wig to cover where I've clipped that in. Otherwise, it's all good. And you can see here, flat iron is ready. I'm gonna just slightly bevel and comb it back. And then I'm just gonna come straight down and bevel just slightly down. Do the same thing here. Now, if you're just doing this for the purposes of your own hair, obviously you would just continue to curl in the same manner and then here in the center back, like I'm doing, this is going back. Like so. so you would still pull this back and then just curl gently there. Here in my top section, I'm going to split this in half on a diagonal, clip this out of my way. It's not that much hair, but I want to get in and get that smooth here at the base. to detangle your section immediately before hold in place one more time i'm going to comb down and come a little forward towards my face here and bevel slightly backward like so Put that guy too do the same thing here sprayed this whole section with thermal protectant so I'm good as far as that and when I come back with my comb I'm re detangling but then I'm only coming back to where I let my hair go with the flat iron and a slight bubble just the end here one more time that base just slightly beveled let go Angle and come down towards my face slightly, down and bend slightly in the end. So now everything else has cooled. I'm gonna take my Marula Oil Light Spray gently and underneath. Take my white tooth detangling comb. Start in these ends and I'll work my way up. Being careful not to comb this wig off or out of my hair. That would be horrible. Here's a tutorial of what not to do, right? Just like so. Gently. I'm not treating my wig as if it's my hair, but I am at the same time, if that makes sense. So what I'm not doing is taking this right to my scalp, but if it was my natural hair and it was this length, I would absolutely do that when I'm 
brushing out um, if you follow me on Instagram on hair by Jazzy916 or Jasmine Hair, um, one of my two pages, you'll see the way that I comb it out and it does look just like this. And I'm just going to make sure it looks good to me. I feel good about it. Back looks good, front looks good, sides look good. Got a little bevel there. So I'm gonna take my white teeth of this all-purpose comb. Do that one more time with just my fingers. You can also finger comb with your fingers to get these beautiful curls to turn into waves. Well, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that you make it a great day.